All right, so uh, welcome to Mathoma Effect. We are actually here in Adelaide, in the beautiful city of Adelaide. And I'm here with uh, Avin James, although he's not from Adelaide. Where are you from, uh, Avin? Represent Campbelltown, New South Wales. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Campbelltown, New South Wales. But what are we doing in Adelaide? We're actually here for the SMYM national team and the youth officer the executive team face to face meeting. Mouthful, but I don't think the microphone caught that. Maybe just uh, <laughs> set up a little. <laughs> All right. So we are here um, uh, for a meeting of the national team leaders uh, for SMYM in Australia. Um, and we are doing a podcast shoot, we're doing a giant chat series in the middle of the night, in the middle of a forest, you know, nice scenery. Um, but yeah, we're here to just have a chat over some chaya um, about passing down our fate. Yes. So we had a little discussion and um, yeah, we felt like this was a very important topic uh, to talk about because we are all here because of this. Exactly because, right. Because we, you know, we received our faith from someone um, and we were able to um, encounter Jesus Christ with what was given to us. Whether we were able to take it in at that moment or not, we eventually, uh, eventually, um, I don't know, is it bore fruits or... Bear? Bear fruits? <laughs> it, it eventually produce fruits. Some fruits lives. were born. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, Evan, welcome to the Chinese Chat series. Thank you, thank you. By the way, I'm Hanson Wilson, if I didn't mention that. <laughs> uh, and I think everyone knows you already, Hanson. <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> so, Evan, maybe you can say a little bit about yourself. Sure. Uh, yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm from Campbelltown in southwest Sydney in the beautiful state of New South Wales. Um, we are a real, uh, not a really big community, I guess, but... Oh. Sorry, thousand, uh, like... Families. Kids, oh, not, kids. Kids oh, all together. Yeah. All together, yes. Yeah. Wow, that's a very growing community. That is beautiful to see. And what, tell us a little bit about your career and maybe your hobbies. Sure. Um, so I currently work for one of the banks. Um, in the hardship department. So um, I get to help people every day with when they have difficulties or in difficult moments. Yeah. Um, and uh, some of you might know AR Media, we, we're always representing. AR so Media, check it out. Check us out on... Uh, on <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's like people in the background, like Ooh, our fans just watching us. <laughs> yeah, you men like just mention to... AR Media and everyone comes around here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, AR Media, very nice. Um, and that's just a group where you guys do things with um, videography. Yeah, and just a bit of videography, a bit of um, youth talks, um, and just spreading out the message, I guess. Very yeah, nice. It's, it's very one nice. of those platforms, um, like the podcast, yeah. that we have to pass down our faith, I guess. Very nice, very nice. So, you know, we are Sierra Malabar Catholics, and... We, um, you know, our ceremony church is very strong with catechism. So when we grew up, uh, it was kind of like, like a compulsory thing. Like after right. Sunday Kurbana, we went to catechism uh, and like no one questioned it. We just went to catechism. There were teachers available. So, you know, like things were running pretty smooth. But we went to, uh, you know, these Sunday classes after, you know, Sunday mass and... Um, they, you know, they even had textbooks for every year level, so it was right. well organized. But like, you know, to be honest, during that time, we probably didn't, probably wasn't, wasn't the, the most fun. <laughs> yeah, we didn't, you know, look forward I, to it, but, um, it really did sow seeds in us. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like I remember as, as kids, like, um, like I said, we, we started off as a very small community. So... Um, we used to go to this one Andy, um, like uh, one of the Andys, we had one teacher teach uh, from year 7 all the way up to year 12. Wow. It, was a, it was a pretty small knit uh, group. So it wasn't very, I guess, uh, it wasn't catered in that way. Mm. So once we started having more families, we started having it at church, having the textbooks brought in, um, which actually had it catered from all the way from year 1, kindergarten, 
um, to year 12. Yeah. So I was very fortunate to be one of the graduating classes, one of the first graduating classes of year 12. So go through all the whole um, process. Yeah. Um, and I guess like I remember the first couple of um, years of going to Sunday class and just thinking, oh, like I really don't want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I this is this, I could be doing something completely else. Um, yes, as kids, we have a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> so busy. Yeah. No, but then, uh, I, it was that push from you know mom and dad. Yeah. Make sure you go to Sunday class. You know, we, it's something that you have to do. Mm. But I think once you reach that, uh, you know, that senior stages, year ten, year eleven, year twelve, mm. it really becomes a platform to have a chat with you know some uncle, my and they have a genuine conversation with you, and I yeah. think that's really important. Yeah, I remember that. Um, because at, at the younger year levels, you know, they would be just teaching because, you know, as kids, we have um, the most immature, you know, what, how do I say it, <laughs> questions about faith. I mean, right. they still answer them. It's not like, you know, they ignore us or anything. But like, uh, I remember year 10, year 11, year 12, they were having more, you know, discussions and, um, you know, they were very open with us, yes. you know, allowing us to share our challenges in school and... Um, um, just like you know, conversations about faith. Exactly right, and I think that's very important at, at that developmental age to have conversation, have discussions with, um, with with people your age, um, which is what catechism really is about. It's about you know similar people um, sharing their faith and having. I think it's uh, it's very important to have this conversation. I remember, um, like exactly like you said, when I, when I was younger, it was you know asking those hard hitting questions just to you know, stump the teacher. Mm. But once you get to that, that senior stages, it's about, you know, how can I make a difference? What yeah. am I doing? Yeah. Um, where, wh like, you know, what is my faith actually meant to be? Yeah. Yeah. And I think Definitely. that really, that, that helps you, um, you know, when, once you leave that year 12 or finish up with Sunday, Sunday school, mm. um, moving into the real world and moving into, you know, helping out in the party. Yeah. Um, I think it's a really good opportunity. So especially yeah, with, yeah. um, now a lot of our, um, students or the people that graduated at the same age as me mm -hmm. they're teaching some of the younger the younger students yeah and that's an amazing experience because it's people that have gone through the whole process so they know what it's like mm. they've been in those shoes yeah um, so yeah definitely and you're a youth leader now that's correct so Avin is also now taking the role of passing down the faith so how do you how what, what are some moments where you get to pass down the faith I guess some of my, my favorite moments, um, even just at bar Parli, uh, after Kurbana, or, um, especially when we have a feast day, or, you know, there's some specific Serumala Pratanas that we say, and kids will always be like, oh, why do, why do we say that? Or why do we yeah. do this? Yeah. And because we've, you know, had that experience of um, going through that Sunday school and yeah. learning what actual process, it's, it's, an, it's an awesome teaching moment, finding yeah. out, hey, so this is why we do this. This yeah. is where... Um, it's important mm. um, and I think that's and the, the kids really enjoy that it's, mm. and that's that opportunity a small piece of information um, they, they wouldn't really get otherwise yeah yeah definitely for sure and thanks for sharing that and it was such a you know, I thought it was a fruitful conversation and um, we might have more conversations if we get time but I think it's a bedtime for us now it is so we are going to sign off um, so until then I'm your host for the Chai Chat Series, Hanson Wilson. And I'm Avin. And this is Martoma Effect. 